Greetings and welcome to Die Dragon Die presents Flotsam and Jetsam, season one, episode twenty-two. I am your host, but not the DM. Adam has got that grave responsibility. How is everyone doing on this fine Saturday evening? Bueno. It has been quite some time. Yeah, it's been about a month. We we've done our kind of offline once a year game with the uh, with some of the folks that Marty learned how to play D and D with, uh, like when he was in single digit age. <laughs> Um, we've got a, a once a year game that we do offline, uh, and we had both the Ontario crew and, um, those folks, uh, in the same place, drinking beer, playing D&D, watching stupid movies, hanging out for like three, four days straight. It was super fun. Um, and then family and life stuff. And then let's get back into the, uh, our regular, regular scheduled action. How are you guys doing? Yeah, kind of. Well, I was involved with some of that, and then work is very much punching me in the stones. It's what's decided to do for the last <laughs> few weeks. It's like, ah, I see you've bruised your right testicle. How about I bash it with the left testicle? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, the, Works um, doing this to you, huh? <laughs> yeah, although I've watched a couple of like entertaining films recently. That's been nice. It's been good. The Deadpool movie, it's entertaining. It's not good, but it's entertaining. I know people will be mad about saying it's not good. No, it's not good. It's just entertaining. Uh, the uh, the Jackpot film with uh, the John Cena Aquafina movie that just came out is gloriously stupid, but it's not, not entertaining. It's just really stupid. Right. <laughs> Uh, as long as you're okay with it being really, really stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, it, it's, it, I, I had fun watching it. Well, it's basically like San Francisco, in two years, San Francisco, or in 10 years, San Francisco becomes, or Hollywood becomes so shitty, they start doing like a murder lottery. And it's just about how a bunch of a terrible place California is is kind of the plot and then it's like murder lottery through California and it's I don't know if it's being ironic about it being kind of a poopy place but hmm. it's but it's like a lighthearted comedy murder lottery <laughs> totally inconsistent very goofy John Cena -y kind of <laughs> John Cena <-y. laughs> <laughs> it's 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 not good. In, in, in but I was entertained. Movie and John Cena are probably not a thing that I expect to be said in the same sense. In yeah, same <laughs> it's, it's 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 not good. Don't get me wrong. This movie's really intelligent. It doesn't have John Cena in it. Would be good to get around that. <laughs> uh, uh, I I think John Cena like I think John Cena can actually act. I I. I think the problem with John Cena is his physique is so cartoon character. Like, he's built like Johnny Bravo. He's yeah. got, like, tiny legs and massive shoulders and arms and a bitty waist, right? Like he's, and, like, a, and then HGH skull, right? Like, like a yeah. bulldog head or pit bull head from... Yeah, and <laughs> comedy just doesn't... Yeah, anyways. Well, seriousness also doesn't roll off of it, so I guess he has to Right, comedy. so it's comedy, right? It's physical comedy. It's look how big where, and dumb you are. Is, um, uh, what's his name? The famous podcaster who did a stand-up recently. Um, Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan, yeah. So Joe Rogan, I watched his special, and I had a hard time, no politics on the channel, so I'm not going to critique it very much beyond, I had a hard time finding him funny, because he's a big, intimidating, scary dude. Like, like his demeanor is a bit, like, at odds with being a comic. I, I, it, it just... What, what's there, funny is Joe Rogan is a tiny little bandlet, I think. He's like... Five, he's not he's like tall. slightly bigger than Ahmed. Hey, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Marty got intimidated by the. No, I'm not saying intimidated. He's like no. he's like gronky gym dude. Oh, oh no, I, yeah, he's definitely. I couldn't tell yeah. how tall he was. Off okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's it's he's just gronky gym dude trying to do comedy, and it's like it, it's not the same. Yeah, like, it's not this. It's not the build that you expect. A comedian to have not not that that's type, that's right? it's true but it, it's one of those like if, if you saw him at the club he'd be coming up to your nipples like he's <laughs> or you know 
yeah. No, he 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 definitely is a gym bro. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. he and and he talks gym, about gym his bro and comedy. Back. Just it just yeah. for some reason, uh, and then the, then there's his his demeanor seem to detract slightly from his comedy. That's all. That's, that's all I'm saying. We're talking about yep. big gym bros. Big, big gym bros. Hold <laughs> on, John Cena is legit a giant gym bro. Like right, he's a big right. fucking dude. He's just built really funny. Um, and this, he'd be at the point where it's like uh, most bodybuilders have to lose weight to act, otherwise they get funny roles. And John Cena is very much in the like didn't lose enough. He still looks funny on camera. He doesn't look reasonable. He looks unreasonable. Anyway, it was a stupid movie and it was enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I also like the Mr. Bean movie. So. <laughs> You've got some questionable tastes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. We, uh, we, we put it on as like, we were having a grumpy evening and we're like, I'm just going to put something on the TV. We're going to eat some chicken and then I'm going to go work. I'm going to have a meeting with China, right? Like that was my, my, my day was like, yes, I'm going to have a 10 o'clock meeting to midnight. Uh, and we enjoyed the first half of the movie and said, no, we're going to actually pause it. And we'll come back and watch it again because it was good enough to watch the rest of it. So that was, anyways, unexpected, unexpectedly good. Deadpool, unexpectedly good. It's also bad, but unexpectedly good. Hmm. Yeah. Ahmed, what's up with you? Um, what's up with you? Well, the the greatest news in my life: the kids are going back to school next Thursday. So, did you do so, a <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> How many times have you been punched in the genital area this summer? <laughs> just Why randomly. don't we just say this week? Four. <laughs> Four. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I count my week starting on Saturdays. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, my youngest... No, no, this is no joke. My youngest is in the head... Is in the height where his head rams right, you know, and he runs head first into things. <laughs> and when he when he likes to play, he likes to high five things. So <laughs> four <laughs> today. <laughs> All right, uh, Let, let's see if we can headbutt in the nuts some monsters tonight. Why don't we do a recap yeah, of what yeah. happened last time? Because it was so long ago, I don't even remember how this works. Uh, monkey's paw. Banta catches up with the Marines. The Marines investigate an abandoned village, encountering monstrous denizens. One of the denizens kills a beloved fam familiar. Oh yeah, the, the monkey thing died. The Marines barricade themselves inside a home for the evening. Mulgramir reads the last will and testament of, Cap of the Captain of the Infernus. The Marines scale the fish-shaped rocky outcropping and attempt to give the ghostly shaman a suitable burial. Did you say fist or fish? Fist. Perfect. Things don't go as planned leading to a skirmish with a mighty sea beast. Banta performs a feat of great bravery and recovers something that was lost. That's right, he snuck down and, and grabbed the, found the skull that we were missing and I think maybe some treasure and then... Fucking... Thanks for not killing me, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we, he tried the game before. <laughs> thanks thanks for not killing me. Your necrotic brain injury. Don't worry. My, my yeah, healer will right. prepare the second level spell that makes your character playable for the day. Every day. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Thanks, waking, up, waking up fatigued. <laughs> not great. Not, not the best. Not, not the best. All right. Uh, yeah, it's been about a month and a half uh, since we've played, so if we're a little rusty, uh, you know why. Um, I'm seeing that we have a bunch of, we've cast a bunch of spells, um, I've got a bunch of things still ticked off, so I think we have... It's, it's about five o'clock in, uh, uh, at this point, you've, uh, woke up, like, you rested at the town, you wandered, mm -hmm. uh, across the swamps carefully, uh, you climbed the fist, you had a interesting interaction with some, uh, uh, some birds that were resting up here. You did do some investigations, uh, and then there was uh, some climbing up, climbing down, uh, and interactions with the lake after after performing your ritual. Yeah, I think um, we're going to climb down the fist, fetch our boat, and we're going to head back inland. Where's our boat? It's just, uh, we just left it up here when we climbed to the top. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, uh, the bo the boat would be effectively like it'd be over here somewhere. Wait a minute, is this is this is this part connected to the land or not? Yeah, it, it is. It, so you're you're up here, like uh, by this little mulga bear token. Yeah, and we left our boat on land. Um, oh, I okay, so as I got we you. climbed I got up you. to the stone fist. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to carefully climb down and then uh, grab our boat. And then how long would it take us to walk back to the cabin? To get to the cabin from here, uh, it's going to take... Uh, what if we just use the boat? We, we just pissed off the horrible... Oh, yeah. That's probably bad. Yeah. <laughs> we're you not going to walk. boat if you want. <laughs> Okay, so hey, like, yeah, look at the water. It's it will cool. take uh, <laughs> four hours to get through the swamp, unless you've got something to help with, like traveling through the difficult terrain. Okay, so and then the it will take it will take two hours to get the rest of the way to the cabin. Hold, hold on, the swamp is just water. The, the well, if we have a boat, water and dangers. It, well, it's it's like there's there's water that goes up to your waist. In some sections, there's viney passages. There's little streamy bits. Wow. There's so it's just shit. muddy, muddy. Yeah, it's, I, it's I think we're sticking. sending some people to go get the boat, and we're going to camp up on the stone fist. <laughs> this feels like a defendable area. Uh, uh, there yeah. is evidence of people camping up here previously. I think we just throw a rope down, tie the boat, and you know the boat is the boat is. Up. Like, almost half a mile away. Like it's long rope. <laughs> <laughs> long rope. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go get it. It's a, it's now, a 500 now, this, meter. This was the the canoe the the canoe basically that we uh, rescued from the village. It's not yes. This is boat. the village's canoe. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, okay, Bento will volunteer to go get it. Just not good at anything else. Yeah, Black Dog will climb down with you. Okay, uh, both of you are skilled climbers, I we'll, believe. We'll send Karen to, to basically back the two up. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Kate, you're skilled climbers. Um, yeah. So you climb your way down um, without without too many issues. Let's just roll a die because D and D is about rolling about random things happening. Oh, this is... Sorry, I have to log into Twitch. It will be two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Who screwed up? Oh, never mind. Uh, you can't roll. I can't roll. Uh, here, I, I will roll. Okay, no, you, you don't encounter anything suspicious, although the some of the... Um, the sea looks suspiciously... Churny at this point in time. Don't know if you want to go for a swim out at the Bay Area there. No, I'm good. Thanks, bud. Thanks, thanks, Dan. Oh yeah, we named it the Monkey's Paw. Yep, the four-man rowboat is basically what we're. Oh yeah. All right. Three. And we've got Chum Chum's little. Little hand sticking out of the end. <laughs> <laughs> Chum Chum's hand <laughs> on the prow of the boat. Yep, oh, I got screwed up. That's right. Uh, all right. Um, okay, so you 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 drag your boat in. Are you trying to carry the boat up the up the mountain with you, or are you just uh, uh, leaving the boat further inland so it make, nothing can easily sort of take it away? Yeah, I think we're gonna hide it down there. Okay, uh, give me a uh, survival or stealth check to hide your boat. You could also use sleight of hand if that is the best skill you have in this field. Black Dog's got a plus ten in stealth. Um, Kenku tricks. Banta, I think, is pretty good stealthy guy. Plus sixteen stealth. Uh, Karen, I think, can aid using. Black Dog's going to aid. He gives you a plus two Banta. Climbing. No, stealth. Stealth. Uh, and Karen is giving you a plus two from using survival to help uh, find a good hidey spot. He's going to tell you that that's a bad hidey spot because the tide is going to make the boat go. <laughs> Your hidey spot's going to disappear with tides. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're also going to tie it up to something. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, and then uh, if you could give me a roll for your stealth with a plus four, Banta. Okie pokey. Oh, I gotta log into it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's, anyways, I will. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Okay, so you you yeah, not a you, one. You've very very hit, you've hidden the boat very well. Right? It, it's it's yeah, well. I, I'm uh, very confident that it's going to be safe for that. I, I cannot find the boat. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, I good. <laughs> Do you think we? <laughs> <laughs> it will be funny if we have a hard time finding the boat again. It will be hilarious if we can't find the boat again in the morning. Uh, good job, by the way. Of uh, Krebs giving Banta like a pat on the back with the whole jumping in the water, getting the thing, coming back up. Not dying. Hey! <laughs> I did that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jinster yeah, yeah, said yeah, that yeah. You, you, you've, you've damaged your, your brain. <laughs> so. uh, oh, poor guy. Who damaged his brain? We'll have to keep a closer eye on you. <laughs> he steps a little, just takes a step closer to you, like... But good job. Uh, it's good. It was good for swim. <laughs> <laughs> There's a boat. Sun Wu said something about we have to go back to the trench to drop that skull in. All right, we do. We can do that. Yes, yes, yes. We can dig a trench. Is it's, a, it's, a bit, it's a bit far for our small boat. How far trenches? How far is trench? It was the journey in the whale, which I got the sense was faster than the journey in our little rickety boat. Oh, maybe we can call a whale. <laughs> Give him drink. Yeah. It, it, Black dog just shrugs. He just. Until then, that thing's cursed. Jin thinks that the shaman spear can come out. No, oh, put it in the hole. You know, a hole with rope? That's funny. <laughs> that way you can play around. <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's get the whale drunk. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the swim better. Black Dog looks disappointed. <laughs> he, he expected you to have an idea about the, the cursed skull that we're now carrying around, but no. no <laughs> but, uh... He just starts climbing. He just, just starts, starts climbing back up the hill. He's, he's done with this. <laughs> if we're able to get him, everybody loves being drunk. The whale will be our friend if we can get him drunk. <laughs> what the... I can... You know, you could be more fun if you wanted to. <laughs> this is not for fun. This is for discipline. You're smiling. I know it. <laughs> Cradle start climbing behind him. <laughs> it's him gritting his teeth. <laughs> I, can, I can hear you smiling. It sounds like rocks being smashed together. You don't use those muscles enough. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of loose dirt whenever it gets dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, after a, a careful climb back up uh, back up the fist, uh, you make your way to the, the clearing. Uh, the signal fire bits are still there. I don't know if you're lighting them or not. Um, I'm just using the fire. No. Uh, give me a second here. Did we get the name of the boat that was off in the distance? Oh, give me a zoom. Uh, we can't see. We can't see its nameplate from here, right? I don't believe you can see its nameplate. Okay. Though I think you. Oh, uh, give me one second. I, I, I think you know, but I don't remember. 
<laughs> no, I, I think you made you get, made me give you a name for the boat offline, but yes, I don't think the party knows. I do, okay, sorry. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, do any of these pieces, Sun Wu is looking at, do any of them look like they came from a ship? Yes. Okay, he will take a piece of a ship, like a piece of wood. Okay. Basically, um, basically these are components for um, the give me, ship spell. Do you, do you have a craft skill? Uh, yes. Okay. He has um, craft. And it's. Track ship. Engines, I will, weapons, I will, armor, jewelry, and max alchemy. I will check the carpentry. Track. Carpentry. Uh, carpentry is very helpful here. Craft ship would also be useful. Um, for what would be something from a boat versus what is something from furniture on a boat? I just want to check to see if it's when it says, in order to cast a spell, you must have a piece of the ship you wish to track. Profession sailor. Uh, they need slivers of their trade ships. Um, profession sailor or craft carpentry. Let, let's let's see if you can craft distinguish. Six yeah. right, well, he'll he'll get Mulgamir to come over after picking out some pieces. Yep. Ooh, which one of these are part of a ship? All of them could be part of a fucking ship if you want them to be. <laughs> no, but. For the track ship spell, you need a part that was actually part of a ship. I'm thinking some of the wood from that boat ended up here. Could you help me pick out something that's like, you know, portable, that is obviously like a handrail or a, a deck or... Is this a deck okay. pen? Okay. Uh, the, uh, let's, let's get a roll together. Here. Show me the deck. I said deck, not deck, deck. <laughs> Mulgrimir is still like grumpy. Yeah, you're 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 certain that would have been like a good joke at some point, but not you know, uh, it just it didn't land. Uh, Grumpamir. <laughs> the sun will also ten ten charisma. So. Yep. Um, Kate, uh, Ahmed, uh, can you get the um, the roll? Uh, uh, whoever's we... leading um, this. Uh, what is it that we're doing? Profession sailor be? for Mulgrimir. Profession sailor? Okay, what's profe what's Mulgrimir's bonus? Mulgrimir's bonus to sailing. I think most of us by now can aid, but I think it's just... Something. Oh, he's... Yeah, so four, he has a 14. I will auto-aid him. I'll roll, though. I have a 12. Thirty-two, net twenty. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so okay. plus two, plus three, plus four. Uh, Mulgrimir's plus eighteen. Plus eighteen. Yeah, plus uh, so that how many do I give him? Plus four. Yeah, twenty-five for Mulgrimir. He, he separates out uh, four pieces. I, I'm not certain about these ones. Uh, they have been treated and stained. If they're from the ship, they're from something decorative. Uh, but this piece, this piece, and this piece, they've been uh, tarred on the one end. Touched and tarred, you can see. This came from something that uh, was treated against water. So, part of a boat? Most likely. All right. looks, it looks to be that he, he's he's naming a, a form of uh, olive tree. Um is that he names the wood type? <laughs> it is an, an olive tree that they used in the in the eastern part of the uh, like the human empire likes to use for making ships. Mm, okay. Good wood, yes, yes. Okay. Good wood. Once once we know that spell, um, we can just cast it, see what happens. Thank you, Mongomir. You're welcome, Samu. Hey, uh, Sanu. Um, hmm? You know the skull is a uh, curse. Uh, what? Is it this? He looks at Black Dog. Is it the skull curse? 
Oh, which one was the cars? Black dog. Huh? The, yes, the, 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 the skull skulls curse. curse. Yes, I told you, skull curse. There's some horrible, um, I don't know, uh, like spirit inside? Why, She's why don't also you... haunting the staff. I don't know, Jim knows more about that kind of stuff. Why don't we put them in the hall where you sleep or hide? But you not be inside, you know? Hey, did getting hit on the head make you smarter? Uh, no, it just makes sense. You know, when you climb, when you climb inside, ears pop. So maybe, yeah, maybe the their ears pop. Confused and not be able to come up the rope trick? Hmm. I don't know. Or we leave it outside and we go into the rope trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh. seven, eight, nine, ten. No, there's two of you. Got to stay outside. <laughs> After ten comes eleven. Thanks, Grin. Uh, yeah, the nine and the ten, uh, eleven he and the twelve. Dirty thirteen because he's a cook. Dirty thirteen. <laughs> There's any more Baker's dozen, but sure. Oh, okay. You so, know why they call it the Baker dozen? Uh, I, I don't. Because they make 13 when they make a dozen of things so they can have one. Oh, <laughs> you hear Lee Hita? <laughs> he probably made Baker's 20. <laughs> Baker's two dozen. <laughs> okay, He's now not it's disagreeing that's... with me. <laughs> All right. Um, the you setting up a watch. I'm assuming. What is the sleeping arrangement for your camping upon the fist? Yeah, I think we'll set a watch. Just looking up. How does one nah. place the familiar? This. All right, so homunculus for Mulgramir is just like Wizards Familiar. Now I'm looking up Wizards Familiar. And death. Who can see in the dark? The orc. The orc can see in the dark. What about this bird? Big fucking eyes. <laughs> really big fucking eyes. Hey, uh, hey, Gen Gen Genzori. Genzori. Oh, what? He's, he's, he's brushing. Uh, he's brushing Kremler at this point. Can uh, Can Krim Kremler see in dark? No, more like uh, in dusk and dawn-like conditions. You know, when things are just uh, like dim light. Why? Uh, no, I li he like owl eyes, you know, big eyes, big eyes, owl eyes. Yeah, owl uh, hunt at night, I yeah. don't think they've got dark vision. Oh, no, he just, he's just being a drunk dude. <laughs> you know, what? I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, Griffins, they are magic beasts. He just walks away, he's like, eyes too big, too big. Griffon. Griffins have dark vision. Fuck yeah. Oh no, they can see in the dark. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> and low light. And he, scent. He, he, and he they're real good. Yeah. Okay. He did not know. <laughs> For some reason I didn't write it down the character sheet. No, I did. I just didn't highlight it. Okay. It's okay. Oh. It's been a while. Been a minute. Yeah, she can she can see in the dark better as good as a dwarf can or an orc or whatever. Oh, oh very useful. Uh, unlike me, I cannot see any time. <laughs> Boy, uh, you gotta lay off on the sauce there. Oh, this is a uh, discipline. This is training. You get stronger. Oh. <laughs> Just make sure you don't trading yourself off the edge of the fist. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Apparently, I did it once already. <laughs> it's a sort of training for fat rich men that have everything and are just done with everything. 
too mm. much is probably not a good thing. Once in a while is okay, I think. Too much no, once no. in a while. No, no, it's uh, it's good. Make you wise, huh? In here. Why does my head hurt? Oh, it's because you had the necromancy touch it. Mm, I need more discipline. <laughs> oh. It's a good talk. Nice birdie. Big eyes. Big fucking eyes. All right, uh, he's just, is, he's just, just having watch? small conversations. <laughs> uh, it's probably enough for four watches. Does Karen drink as well? Karen does drink, yeah. And he split does. the two assholes. Do not put them together. <laughs> like, hey, how's the watch? They're both... Karen, <laughs> Lee, and they, they, we have three people who do drink. We got one person who's just drunk to excess all the time. Hey. It's it's the way I it's the way I do it, son. Okay, so it's the way I roll, son. <laughs> that's a good party. These guys don't drink. We should probably do something like that. Oh, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Were you getting on? <laughs> no, I'm not in <laughs> Oh, you. Oh. All right, first watch, last watch. I'll put a dot down for the rope trick. All right, uh, let me go to open up the Excel sheet for the combat. Uh, Ahmed, if you could roll me a percentile. Yes. The attack of the puffins. <laughs> 31. 31? Okay. 51. 51. Okay. Um, Jin Shu. Uh, sorry, you have the biggest. So Jin Shu and Banta on their watch. Uh, there's a there's a shipwreck out at sea, out out here. Um, you can see a. From this angle, you can see a. It's pretty obvious. Like uh, the ship right glow. This, yep. Do you mean? Yeah, you mean this big one? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. There's a glow coming from that shipwreck. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, there's it a, a. It appears. A there, glow. It appears there is a beacon of hope in the light, or perhaps uh, it is a trick. We have seen tricks come from the sea. Uh, yes, very, very uh, dangerous. Uh, important. To keep mind. Very sharp. Jin will go to the edge to investigate. Probably to about here. Like, just to get a better view. Oh. Where is the glow coming from? And did you create a map for the shipwreck? I did to create a map for the shipwreck. Can you... Yeah. I, I'm going to move myself there. Who's got the skull and stuff, by the way? Uh, Jin does. Good luck with that. <laughs> He's got them in a bag. Okay. Uh, on this map, I'm going to just draw the what appears to be the source of the glow. Uh, I'm going to go like this. Go. Mm -hmm. You can see this this purplish pinkish glow. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Uh, Banta is going to keep. Was wonder what when it started. Like how many bells since the sun hit the horizon? Uh, basically, once the fiery pink and orange sunset faded into the darkness, this became pretty easily visible. So, Banta, hey, you you think Ginger, Ginger, you think it was always there, or it show up when sun go sleep? Does it look like it's just something is inside the boat that is pinkish light, or or, or is there a beam coming straight towards us, or like? Uh, it it doesn't. 
Like, is someone shining you, a flashlight at us, or is, is give like... me a, give me a knowledge arcana okay. or sort of uh, sort of equivalent uh, knowledge arcana spellcraft knowledge nature survival? All of these would be appropriate. I'm gonna roll Ooh, out. survival. Survival. <laughs> Jin Jin prays to the spirits for his spells. That's how he understands them. Uh, Twenty five for survival. Oh, I should have needed you. Um, well, I can. 22, I aid. Right, so, 20, 28 is what we get to roll. It's too steady to be fire. Okay. When you move your head, it does sort of blink in and out, but that happens to lots of things. Um, if you stay very still, it seems to be pretty steady. And you can find multiple points where it would be steady. All right, so, and if we move around slightly and get a different angle, does it disappear? Like, is it... Inside the boat, I could see some. Uh, yeah, you you can you can, you can basically block it. You can you can block it from certain angles. Yep. Okay. Uh, how much of the boat is visible during when the when the when the moon is down versus like high tide and low tide? He wants to mark like see how high like the water moves in this area. Oh, uh, yeah. The um, high tide. It ends up coming up like the part where the glow is at high tide would be uh, underwater. Okay, would it be like over over here, like this maybe? It it still sticks out, so it'd be. I'm trying to here. So it basically come up to this line. I'm gonna use the horizon line in the back. Okay. Oh, it looks I will, like I will make the note. It uh, looks like. Uh... Not to you know the, the there is quite a bit of uh I'm at brain stop. It's fine, you're playing Vanta. <laughs> brain didn't start. I function <laughs> like a drunken, uh necromantically touched monk. Alright, so right. how long would it take us to like swim or boat out to the shipwreck? How much is he square? Like, it's four hours of walking through the swamp and only two hours to walk this distance. Like, this is a significant distance, isn't it? That it's it's over. That is a full mile. I, I don't see. It's a mile. Oh, of screw that. You don't want to swim that. So, don't want to swim. Actually, it is, it is a, a serious workout. Uh, I, for me to swim a mile, we're looking at like 45 minutes of continuous swimming in, <laughs> without he, worrying about the ocean trying to push you back into the, <laughs> into uh, the island. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It, it's not like you're, it's not that you go down, it's you're going to be pushed sideways. Yeah, you just, so, it's really hard to go down in the water in here. Yeah, it's it's ju it's about a mile out to sea, a little bit less than a mile out to sea. Yeah, but uh, hey, we use, we use boat. We. We will, roll, need, we will roll, need to go via boat to there. Swimming in those treacherous waters would be certain to. It, it, one you, once you get farther from island waters, not not as bad. Okay, Jin is listening to you. He's not the sailor you are, but he understands. His yes. one rank gives him a plus nine profession sailor. So. The, the, the shore is, uh, shore makes it... Uh, uh, harder, but uh, in open sea, in deeper sea is better. But uh, there has to be some kind of reef. That is danger. You you would estimate you've been around boats enough, and you um, at this ice, point ice that you would, you would think it would be like Banta. Strong men rowing well could probably get there in about. 13 minutes of rowing, maybe a little bit less, 10 minutes. Normal men rowing a boat would take them about half an hour. Yeah, we, we your, little, your little rowboat would take about a half hour of rowing to get out there. Uh, how big is the rowboat? Four men? Four yeah, men, rowboat, uh, and then I think uh, Ganzorg's flotsam vessels are rafts that uh, can have four men on them. Is it a spell that you cast? Yeah. Yes. He he, ha he has insta insta lifeboat. <laughs> that drag people along. But they only yes they only last for five hours at this level. Uh, uh, which which means they're they're great for this sort of a sojourn. So yeah. yeah. But we yeah like he, but he cast his for the day as the lure to uh, to the big sea beast. 
Also, we may want to let the CBs just sort of settle the fuck down for a while before going <laughs> come, immediately come out here. from its lair <laughs> into the water. It's like, no, nah, maybe we'll go back to the other side of the island first or find a better way. Like, I mean, a running fly spell. I don't know if we've got fly spells yet. I don't know. Let's see if I can type in fly. Do we have? Uh, what about? Uh, 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 what about airwalk? We definitely don't have that. Airwalk is harder. I, I mean, a, oh, no, no, not a um, small Ganzorig could fly air, on Primlier. Yep. To get out there. Yep. It's called um, airstep. And you, Gatano is could be. Gatano could join as backup. Yep. Oh, it's picking up fly as the skill. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we. I don't think we have that spell or a potion. How fast does the swan boat move? Swan boats are quick. I think it's sixty feet per round. What about uh, what about air step? So a, a swan a boat feather token, oh. it moves at 60. It can carry eight horses and gear. 32 medium creatures are any equivalent of combination. Last uh, yeah, a, a swan boat can, can easily do this. It also magically propels, so it's not worried about being smashed upon the rocks, which is the big problem here. You have yep. to row very well at the beginning. Yeah, and the flotsam vessel also... Um, Always considered traveling downstream for the purpose of traveling speed when it's cast on rivers, and we said that it's always good on the ocean. So that spell will also help. That, that spell will also help exactly. So the the main issue with your main ra your normal raft is getting out of the uh, mm -hmm. the waves being caused by the uh, the great storm that is north. I mean, you could prepare two uh, reduced person minute per levels. Yes, there. I think so. Sorry. Uh, Question: Can you have an enlarged person? Yeah, they're I, minute, they're minute yeah. level. Yeah, they're, no, 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 no. They're they're good buff. I'm sorry. Hold on. Listen. Give me a, give me a minute. Enlarged person, right? Who are you making Ginger. big? Ginger. Jin is a monster. He's human. not a human. He's not a person. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't have all rights. All I'm saying is... <laughs> uh, he, he's monstrous humanoid reptilian. He, I don't think uh, those people spells work on him. He's too big. All right. Somebody naturally strong. A, a, a large humanoid seems like it's just broken. Like, when we... When, when the bad we, guys when get we it, when yeah. we customize the what do the big fucking boa constrictor uh, Nagaji do, uh, we kept them as monstrous humanoid, which is either what they were in the third ed uh, Eastern uh, guides. I forget what they're called, the Ro Rokugan. Anyways, they, they came from somewhere. I, I just don't remember. Um, okay, but yeah. You, if he could turn big, everyone rides the snake to the island. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> he still have to make some checks. <clears throat> All right, we, we we have ways of getting out there. I, I think is the uh, is the. Yeah. We'll let people know that there's a light. Is the light constant throughout our watch? The light is constant throughout the watch, and I th let me just check. I think. Uh... Grimsby, Chum Chum, Krimlier, Black Dog, and Sun Wu have a hard time seeing it. No, no, not Chum Chum. Chum Chum's dead. He'd have a hard. Well, time. that means he has the hardest time seeing. <laughs> uh, this is true. Uh, it's uh, with they basically need help. Everyone, everybody else from this location. It's like, oh, there's a star in the boat. <laughs> like it's kind of what it looks like. What 
do wizards do need? I, I don't think I read it. What do they need to bring back? Familiar? Yeah. Here in a second. Uh, I think they need to wait, then they do a ritual. Uh, but here. Because they, they did make this. Um. Uh, it can be replaced one week later through a specialized ritual that costs 200 gold pieces per level. Yeah. It takes eight hours to complete. Okay. I'm just going to make a note. Which is suspiciously similar to the way you replaced the bonded item. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and I'll make a note in our time tracker when the familiar died. Uh, Okay. Uh, upon this fist, the knight comes and goes without being harassed by uh, by mosquitoes. Nothing jumps out of the staff. Banta is racked by horrible nightmares and torments of death of his partially shattered psyche. Standard days. He effectively gets no rest. <laughs> Everybody who's not Panda recovers ah! hit points. <laughs> oh, okay. So we recovered our spells then? You cover your spells. Uh, I need to, just give me a second because there are some things out. And I'll make sure that I tick off Jinshu's uh, Lesser Restoration that morning. Um, Jinshu bless Jinshu's Blessing is as good as a night full of rest. Yep. Um, You, Banta, you keep having these dreams that you're 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 oh so hungry, but if you open your mouth to eat something, you'll drown. It's just you're starving, and if you if you do anything, you'll drown. It's just like these continuous nightmares. And everyone saw the light throughout their watch, like uh, uh, we, uh, Sun Wu needed it pointed out to him because they're like, oh, there's a light there. What do you? There's like <laughs> yeah, the, the spy glass got broken out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah! Every, everybody saw the light from this from this angle. Hmm. Uh, once the sun came out, it's very difficult to see the light. As in, what's the weather like today? Ah, uh, two d six, please, if you could, Marty. I think we said that the weather was going to be okay for the next two days. I think it was good for the next two days, yeah. so I think it's still good. Okay. Um, it was it was good for the next two days. I think the day after this is when you would have the next uh, read weather. Yep, uh, and uh, he prepares it every day. So two d six is for the next couple of days. Five. Okay, so it'll be a little breezy, but generally okay. Okay. So the weatherman has basically said uh, things will be okay for the next three days uh, for us to explore ocean. We've got three three places we could go explore. One, the most dangerous is that light right now because we pissed off this fucking creature. Where is it? This thing. And it layers here, right where we slept at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> A mile down, but, but at the bottom of the hill. We're, we're lucky you didn't climb up the hill for vengeance. <laughs> right. I'll uh, show you my ten foot land speed. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe we're not. Or maybe we should have. Yeah, should have tried to lure it. Um, I don't know, Ahmed, if we should go out to the ship with this thing. It left behind its layer of skulls. Like it's obviously going to come back for the things that it loves. Humanoid skulls. No, not Even yet. We each carry one of those. Uh, <laughs> um. well, 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 if we just drop their skulls, then it'll be fine. I'm not carrying any skulls. <laughs> no, you do not bring skulls out there. Why would you? Uh, we 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 left behind like dead bodies. We could we could gather up the skulls and give it to it as an offering. Uh, 
Not a bad idea. Do we throw him? Oh, that's, that's, that's gross. I'm not, not bigger around people with skulls, but cool things. They're probably all burned anyways. Yeah, I mean, if we're trying to make friends. All right, I'll compromise. We only take the head. We bury the rest. Uh, well, yeah, I'm with Lee. They, they're all burned and shit. If that crab thing wants a, wants a fistful of arrows, you can, you can get it. Come get some. He sits quietly I'm, over his uh, shoulder. Uh, all right, asshole. Why don't you swim then? <laughs> no, I fly. Crit, crit's with Gadzorg. Yeah, come get some. Come get some. Eat, eat, eat Krimler. You need to get bigger. Yes, I have more more food into it. <laughs> well, okay. I call this weight gainer. <laughs> Uh, just, just, I don't taste like farts. Just I, don't think speed, I don't think you can speed up uh, growing like that. Oh, just you watch me. She's going to be the best fed griffin ever. Yeah, and then she'll fly all fat. And she'll poop on her enemies. Oh, fat. Well, you don't want to be fat. This, this is just this is just me too. This is, it's fine. You're not going to get fat, are you? <laughs> Sun Wu giggles a little bit. All right, enough. This is Mulgrimir. Where where are we going today? I agree with, I agree with uh, Black Dog. It is probably too dangerous to go out there with the sea devil nearby. We'll give it a few days to calm down. Uh, that leaves us with the sea cave or the boat that sank where the ghoul people came from on the other side of the island, both of them. I mean, I have a way for us to get to the boat. Does it involve swimming? No. So, get this. The griffin is only so big. And we've already established we can make Anzurik small and ride on the griffin back. Maybe we could get two small people on the griffin back. You know, not, they're not fighting. They're, they're just going to fly. And they fly there. And how, how fast do you think Krimler could fly with two people on her back to get there? You won't have much, won't have much time to look around because you got to make your way back. Uh. Oh, but I could prepare two more. Uh, what? What's her fly speed? Fly speed is... 80? 60? Uh, I'm looking, looking. Uh, it's 80. 80. Okay, so... Uh, she can get there in... So if she hustles mm -hmm. with Ryder... She would get there in three and a half minutes. Okay. So get this. I prepare four of these damn potions. You drink two. Gansori again. Someone to back up Gansori. You ride Krimler to the boat where the light is. You go take a look around. Grab some stuff that's valuable. But not too heavy because you got to come back with Krimler. And then... You drink two potions, making yourself small when you're ready to fly back. And nothing can happen to Grimler with this, with this plan, because he'd be stuck up there. <laughs> oh, no, no they, can, they can swim through the horrible waves that smash upon the rocks. Um, as an emergency, they could use the swan boat to whip their way back here, but I was kind of trying to save this thing for a special occasion. Oh, I got my flotsams. I'll, I'll prepare two of them, just in case. Oh, okay. Okay. You do that. Now, what happens if something happens to Genzorig and the potions? Who's going with them? Corinne <laughs> uh, uh, is holding up Katano by the scruff of the neck. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, uh, he's just... 
I'd like to go, but I don't know if I can make that swim. And Lee's, <laughs> Lee and Black Dog, you're too big. Half Giants, I don't know, you, you break poor Krimler's back even if you were small. Uh, that leaves Karen, Mogamir, Banta, Jin. I don't even know this potion is gonna work on you. You're you're way too big and snaky. She just nods to that fucking tongue licking out. Yeah. I don't know. Is he even a humanoid? It's <laughs> whispering again. Sorry. Who's that? <laughs> no, no. Humanoids have two legs. <laughs> Karen is like making a not a lewd gesture, but he's definitely referencing genitalia. Yeah. Two legs and a... <laughs> <laughs> some of them, some of them just uh, might have almost three. Uh, Twenty-four ah, on the monster, on the monster lore. Did we identify that Jin is a monstrous humanoid? Well, yeah, Jin is a monstrous humanoid. Oh, he's, he's kind of like a monster humanoid. I am no monster. No more than all of you are. Well, it's not what I meant, but he's a really big humanoid because he doesn't have legs and he's really big. A very, very insensitive gun, sorry. Oh, thank you. Go, go drink some more, you fucking drunk. Hey, I wouldn't mind a little bit of it. <laughs> Before you drink it all, give me hey, some of that. We're going to go across... Uh, Crab Lake here, I uh, courage. Uh, if you're not used to it, I'd not recommend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's send Banta. Banta knows about boats and stuff. I can go, sure. Yeah. What the He's, hell? Um... I swim good. <laughs> he seems to really like danger. Let me check my character <laughs> Mulgrimir is having a pout, and I'm going to ignore the fact that Mulgrimir is the obvious second choice to go because he's got a swim speed and he's the lightest. We're going to ignore that. <laughs> uh. Swim, okay. yeah, swim plus so 10. We can, right. we can get out there, and then we go across the entire island to go visit the sea cave, and it'll be different people that will go swimming. Also, we can check on our crew. Uh, yeah. Yeah, those guys. There's someone who doesn't fucking care. There's nobody in the crew that he likes. I'm certain <laughs> Billy will be okay. <laughs> fucking Billy. And, and and our ghoul our our ghoul dwarf. Mm, now nah, he was part of the fucking crew that enslaved Sun Wu or that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if you if you're looking to Sun Wu for sympathy about the peons. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. We could check on the crew. <laughs> Sun Moon truly sees them as NPCs in his story. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a little chaotic, and uh, I, I guess Shortstone. Yeah. Yeah, Shortstone kind of grows on you a little bit. Are you sure he grows at all? He's really short. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember that one. <laughs> I'm sure you'd like to hear it. Yeah, we gotta go back and tell short notes some short jokes. <laughs> Look, he looks at Mulgrimir to see if Mulgrimir is fucking you know, 100 yard stare or whatever. Uh, all right. All right, and we'll stay here and keep watch. Oh, that's a good idea. If we see the fucking thing going, uh, the big crab thing or whatever it was coming towards you, then we should send a signal. Yeah, yeah, we can use the flare gun. If we send out the flare gun, and something bad's happening. <laughs> Coming your way. And you should fly back. Okay. Okay, uh, I think we got this. You sure? What does the flare gun mean? It means you blew yourself up. <laughs> yeah. I'm surrounded by imbeciles. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me brew these potions. And then we can... We can send you brave folk on your way. Why am I feeling screwed? Uh, feeling gone. <laughs> feeling gone. <laughs> oh. 
the room's kicking in, is it? Oh, uh, are we sending Gatano? Uh, Coran has shoved Gatano into one of the saddlebags. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Gatano will be the one that carries some stuff, because I'm pretty sure when he shapeshifts, like, some of the weight gets distributed or something. I don't know. I, uh, we'll have to do some experiments later. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Uh, I cried and smacked Katano in the face, and he's grooving. Fuck you, you big. <laughs> what were you saying? What's going on? Oh, What's going on here in Katano? Is this Katano or? I'm trying to do a Katano. Oh, okay. Why are you being nervy? Oh, you're going to have to be little to get on to Krimlier. Oh, yeah, get little. Stick you, you in the bag. You can't tell me what to do. Then he shrinks down. <laughs> well, I, I want it to be small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> he gets in the bag. <laughs> he gets picked up and put in the bag. <laughs> Fuck a okay. weasel. <laughs> uh, give me a perception check from, well, Krimlayer knows for sure that you uh, it'd be Genzorg. Just a 16. 16. Uh, Krimler's a little agitated. Gatado has defecated in your saddlebag. <laughs> if you could turn into a fox, would you turn into the fox to go for a poop just because, I don't know, it's easier? It's easier. <laughs> Just like, go run out into the yard, poop a little bit, and go run around. <laughs> Rub your ass in the grass. Is that, is it really, is it nicer? I don't know. These are the things that inquiring druids want to know at fourth druids. level. <laughs> before well, these are like the third level and fourth level druids before. Is it better to poop as a you new? Know? Oh, I'm sure there's a whole, there's a whole comedy bit of just D&D jokes um, with hmm. druids. It's a very specific audience, though. Yeah, like, very specific like, audience. What the fuck is this happening? It'll be like when Wiccan showed up being like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 talking about this? Very, very specific. <laughs> uh, funny. All right. So uh, I think we have a plan. Uh, and the party is going to keep watch while these two shrink down with the two uh, first uh, potions. They're going to ride the griffin. To go whipping towards um, uh, the boat. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab them and move them. So first, can the griffin handle their weight? I'm going to say yes. I wave my hand in the air. Okay. So two small creatures and a... How big is... A... Tiny. Okay, negligible. He is he is strong because the griffin uh, isn't very strong at this level. So uh, so two small creatures should be. Uh, uh, what, what, so how, how strong is the griffin? Here, let's let's do this properly. Uh, okay, bears endurance. Do you have the strength belt? <laughs> okay, so bears endurance won't help this problem at all. Um, do you want bull strength? Uh, uh both strength, sorry. Okay, so uh it's been a month. It's been a month. All right. So <laughs> your weights are divided uh, by eight. Okay. You would divide by eight. So you, it's like twenty four pounds for uh or it would be uh divide by eight, so it's like thirty eight pounds for um yeah, uh, twenty five pounds of gear with uh Ganzori. The the gears divide by two because whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but it, yeah it, it, he, he can he can carry it. It's just okay. he's in he's in medium load. All right. So, uh, which means that his flight speed is fifty five. Give me a second. Uh, okay. Uh, so he flies a little bit slower than you were expecting. So he has to actually run. So he does need a few minutes to rest at the other side before coming back. That's fine. Yeah. 
Oh, Crimley's getting a workout today. Crimley's getting a workout today. <laughs> one eighth, one eighth, eight boys. <laughs> uh, give me all gonna take helium for this next scene. <laughs> uh, give me a uh, one uh, like con check for um, uh, Crimlier. Uh, this is gonna represent how long he needs to rest before coming back. Okay. Uh, not twenty, twenty one. He he needs. One minute to rest before he returns. He is not fatigued. He's just he's he's and, broken and, a good and sweat. And by though. he we mean she. She yes. <laughs> Premier is a Goyal. <clears throat> Goyal. All right. So let me go and grab your token. Hey guys. Uh, copy. Actually, I'm going to cut. Bush. Okay, um, you're flying in. You're flying in uh, pretty hectically. Give me uh, perception checks from your group um, as you're you're flying in. Um, the Gitano basically is is indisposed, so it's uh, Banta and Ganzorig. Okay. Uh, Krimlier is focused on running, like a run flying. Uh, Ganzorig rolled a two again for his perception check, so sixteen. He's busy on <laughs> go, go Krimlier. <laughs> yeah, he's busy basically. Uh, yep. Riding. Okay, Banta, what is your perception check? No perception. Uh, what's my minus? Uh, the, just uh, minus one from your, your head injury. Vang. 20. 20? Yep. Um, okay. Uh, you see the light as you're approaching, um, glowing within the, um, uh, within the shipwreck. Um, additionally, you see a very strange looking, um, uh, hang on a second, I'll cut my, oh, it's because I have a text, okay. There's a grappling hook attached to this, uh, attached to one of the masts that is just on at a funny angle. It looks, it just looks odd. Like here? Uh, uh, here. It's on, it's on this mast. It's just, it seems to be like upside down. Um, upside down. Okay. Uh, Ganzori, you need to land somewhere. Um, can, can, uh, hey, Ganzori, can you go uh, around first before we land? Yeah, we can, we can slow down and do a little circle around. We'll do like, yeah, like do like a... Uh, like bank around and take a quick look, looking at the water, looking for okay. that grappling looks weird. Looking for anything that says someone's been here. Uh, give me a D ten, uh, Ahmed. Me, yep. Good job. Oh, the crap! I'm good. Eight. Okay, you've got eight rounds of uh, your reduced persons left, so you've got about a minute left. Okay, we'll take a couple of minutes just to circle around. Okay. Um, Looking for a good flat spot to land. Okay, Ganzorig, uh, Ganzorig, Banta, Gatano, or you can uh, you can all roll perception checks again as you're taking an opportunity. Twenty-seven from Ganzorig. My favorite enemy is undead. Okay. Uh, Yay, sixteen. Okay. All right, Ganzorig, uh, you do see uh, some. Desiccated looking um, sailor types on this ship. Um, give me a second. Where did, where did I put all of my tokens? I forgot how I was moving my token. Here we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, there we are. There are uh, three moving bodies hiding amongst the shipwreck. Um, you immediately oh, recognize them. Oh, good idea taking a look around. There's some, there's some assholes down there. Looks like some undeads. Oh no, this is not good. 
That's all. You can see them in there. Uh, let me just do a little check this real quick. I thought I had this to scale. It is. Anyway, I'm going to adjust the map real quick just to yep, make it. No problem. No problemo. Just agreed. That's a little bit more correct. Okay. Uh, can you, you, can, you, you can see them hiding, um, hiding uh, amongst the water, but you, you do notice that they are not in the water. They are out of the water. Okay. Uh, can I do a monster lore check? You certainly can. Okay. Uh, and these are undead? They are undead. Yep. 28. 28. Uh, they are Lacedons or aquatic ghouls. Don't we have one of those? You do have one of those. Um, it is odd. Uh, you know that they're tougher in water than they are on land. Hmm. Is this... Can we land on this? Uh, these are like rocky reefs. Uh, you could try to land on one, but they like water splashes. They're difficult, and they're they're okay. all these so, places are actually sharp. So I think um, a couple of rounds before our spell wears out. How far is it from the boat to this uh, water? Uh, this water. Uh, so uh, it would be like to the rocky outcrops or to the water itself. Uh, to the water. Uh, it would be, we'll say, 150 feet because we're going deep into okay. the. Yep. So uh, I just say land on the or drop me off with the boat. No, I think we can't. Can't uh, Krimlier carry you? I think we may. We're, we've got, we circled around for two rounds and we looked at them possibly for a round. So I think and you're not casters, so can, you're can want Krimlier... to be very judicious with your <laughs> spell. Yeah, time. you can just drop me off. Drop me off. Uh, drop me off on the boat. And as I fight, shoot them down. No, let's make them come out of the boat up onto this ridge, and we'll stand here and and shoot them. And you can but, kick uh, them and come out at. Them. How do we know there's only three? Well, I only saw three. If there's more, so of them, what if there is more hiding? And when we swim, they come and drag us, and then we die. Then we fight more of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's landing over here. 150 feet away. It's good range to make them make them come out and play. Okay. Um, give me a uh, fly check or balance check um, for the, like the slippery rocks. You could also use a swim check if you wanted to say like, no, I'm actually swimming them against the water. Um, oh, again, uh, what's his name? Bantail is just just top of the pool, just top in this water. Is it like dangerous, crazy water, or you just don't know what's underneath it? The water is churning, right? If you don't, if you fail swim checks, they'll oh. you against the rocks. Oh, oh, okay, okay, got you. I know we have a very calm picture, but the, the there are waves here. There is continuous water. I was like, okay, what is this? What is yeah. this for? How slippery the rocks are, or it just it's it's it, the, the rocks are slippery. Do you slip? Okay, Ganzorg is going to use acrobatics. If that's all right, like he's yep. going to dismount because he's going to yeah, yeah. big in a second. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. He will twenty six onto the rock. Hey, yeah, you are you are on the rock. Twenty seven with his current size, I think. Acrobatic. You're on the rocks and you have no issues. AKA, you're not on like you're not counted as flat footed on a slippery surface. Like you're you are sufficiently stable. Okay, and uh, then Gatano, we're gonna kick out of the bag. Okay, uh, Gatano like shoots awake because uh, he was asleep in your bag. <laughs> Sleeping in his own poop. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's sleeping in. Oh, yeah, you can't see sleeping in his own poop. Yeah. <laughs> this is the problem. The problems that you create for yourself. He doesn't necessarily think things through. <laughs> uh, Twenty-four for the uh, monk. Okay, uh, Gatano uh, with a bonus for being four-legged and the extra dex. Uh, he is. He's got no problems. And then uh, the monk has no problems. All right. Um, initiative or? Uh, it's the. They don't seem to be coming towards you. Okay, I'm going to use two rounds to buff. Okay. Uh, you can see them. 
they're snapping in your direction and you see them kind of like taking cover? Weird. Uh, let, me, let me look up a spell I don't usually cast. Because it's around per level. Okay, so Ganzarig is going to use a, um, a Swift to start a Judgment. He's going to cast, in that round, uh, a Protection from Evil on himself, and then in the next round, a Protection from Evil on Banta. Ooh, thank you. Okay, Gatano scratches his face. And then I think he casts a shield spell. <laughs> yep. And he and he's got the feet that allows him to. I, th I think yeah. he's got that now. Yeah, he's got spell. yeah natural spell. Yep. Okay. Um, so um, he will. Uh, yeah, he will. He would have already had mage armor running, uh, and he will cast a. Would he shield or would he bark skin? Bark well, skin uh, two, two rounds. He shield and bark skin probably. Cool. Shield. Oh, must be nice to have all spells. <laughs> Let's see what do I have. Uh, I can drink a mage armor. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll drink that mage armor it is. Oh, I absolutely just destroyed Mark's sheet. I didn't mean to. Oh my god. Control Z. We that's what we're doing. I've Yeah, his 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 notation is not good. It is different than everybody else's notation. <laughs> his ticks are for whether they're enchantment or compulsion, not how many cast castings. Yes. Yes. I, I mean I, I almost did the same thing. <laughs> He should, I will, use, he should use I will color. color code it for him. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> Dirty bastard. <laughs> color code. <laughs> so wisdom's down. Uh, I love you, Marcus. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want me to roll initiative? Uh, yes, please. Okay. What uh, and you get you get a plus uh, one on your initiative from being little. And I think next round we turn back, right? So. Uh, yeah. Exactly. You're going to. Basically, go ha ha. <laughs> what uh, what are the uh, initiative modifiers of the aquatic pools? Plus four. Okay. Uh, and just put down other at plus five. Done. I'll grab some random numbers. And populate initiative. All right, Krimlinger is there, Aquatic Ghouls, Genzorg is there, Mogamir is not, Banta is, Other is, and that rest are not here. This is where we find out that we should have brought the whole party. <laughs> Some of those are the worst encounters. It's like, well, you're at the tavern. I go to the bathroom. It's like, I go to take a piss. It's like, all right, you get ganked by four CR-16 rogues. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom like girls at the bar. <laughs> uh, all right, Genzorg. Uh, Genzorg is going to cast uh, Divine Favor on himself. Um, I'll, I'll wait that's on the, a, by the... A, that's a standard, and then he has, um... Uh, Gatano, I guess, will go last. Oh, did I not include Gatano? That's fine. Jeez. <laughs> nope. 16. We will go... Tying with the other. So, uh... Here's the roll for the other. Here's the roll for Gatano. Uh, Gatano wins. So we'll 
tiebreaker. Gotano wins. <laughs> okay, so Ganzori casts Divine Favor, and that will last until here. Divine Favor. He is going to fire an arrow while little. Okay. At one of the the gooly ghouls. Let's see. Weapon. Hey, the, the, the gooly ghouls were watching you. They did take cover. Um, but they are flat footed. Because DD is weird like that. <laughs> yep. And my bow is not appropriately strength, so I'll click the minus two. And then how many feet away? Uh, 150. Okay, so we're using our non magical bow. Uh, nope, Croc's bow uh, got one of the. Um, Transferred magic weapon items. Rings. Or yeah. Weapon rings, yeah. Oh, all right, all right, okay. So this is uh, a favorite enemy undead plus two is 18. Okay, uh, yeah. Oh, with the cover you hit. Oh, give me a second. How much of this goes to here goes to You hit them exactly with the cover? With the flat footed and the cover canceling out effectively? Okay. Uh, so D8 becomes D6. Small. Ha <laughs> Surprise! 14, 14 damage from an arrow. Okay, um, you destroy this ghoul? Um, you remember them being a little bit tougher? Oh, these things are kind of fucked up. Uh, now that you're looking at it, it looks like one of its hands was missing, like one of its clawed hands was off. Oh, somebody's already chewed them apart. This is going to be easy. Okay. Uh, Unless we run into a thing that's toying with them. <laughs> Maybe it's the big crab thing. Oh, fuck, keep a look at the water. <laughs> <laughs> Gitano. Uh, Gitano is going to crawl back up onto Krimley. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and is going to ready an action to. How about cast. he casts Sea Invisibility? Just in case. That's a, that's a good one. Yes, well, yeah, yeah that's that that is that is the smart. You will cast a Sea Invisibility. Okay. He's got Mage Armor, Sea Invisibility, Shield, and Bark Skin. Cool. Uh, other. Okay. Mm. On the stone there, I'm going to roll a die. Okay. Uh, all right. The other has, has the other has done something. Um, okay. Uh, you can see uh, now that you can see them moving around. You can see that this this particular ghoul is missing a foot, uh, and this uh, the one to the right or crew one is missing a foot. Then crew three is is missing some fingers on one of its clawed hands, like the hand was snipped in half down the middle. Um, it is taking cover, but it's not jumping into the water. They're, they're both kind of trying to protect themselves from your, your advantage point. Oh, they're too afraid to swim in the water. I think there might be something in the water. I think we know there's something in the water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, Santa, I know that you know that I know that there's something in the water. <laughs> so, Banta, what are you doing? Jump in the water. <laughs> no. Uh, Try to throw uh, your character away. <laughs> I, I like I'm gonna, the I'm playing. <laughs> I'm going to ready a power attack stunning fist and stand next to... There's stand. certain situations, Marty, where that is such a real statement of like, I like my character. I don't want this plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you we have to live we play the character ah guys <laughs> yep. alright go ahead 
Ahmed, sorry. Go uh, readying a power attacking stunning fist to anything that comes in reach. Okay. Defensively. Krimlier. Krimlier is resting. Yes. Uh, Krimlier needs a, a minute of rest. Yep. Perfect. Uh, I'll a little closer to that. Genzorg. Oh, one sec. Ooh. Uh, all right. Let's. BRB, one sec. Are we big yet? Uh, I'm going to roll a D2. On a one, you are big. Nope, you're, you didn't quite time it right. You're still small. Okay. Um, Your ability to count to 500 seconds or <laughs> count to 300 seconds was yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's perfect. A, it's a bit chaotic. <laughs> uh, it's fine. So we're going to rapid shot one of the other ghouls. Okay. Uh, they, they now have their... They have cover and their decks now, as well as their defensive bonus. Yep. Nat 20 and 24. Okay. Uh, the Nat 20 hits, the 24 hits the hits a timber as the really? <laughs> they're, they're ducking into the walker. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, their 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 cover and their dog. Their cover and defensive. <laughs> and... All right. <laughs> they don't like this. Uh, uh, fourteen damage. Okay, uh, you you just you destroy the one that's missing a foot. Okay, we're going to aim and then fire our last shot. So this would be a plus eight minus five plus two for the aiming. Eh, that's not great. Now you see a lot of no, we're we're hitting the side of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, arrows ticking four away. Arrow, four arrows. Yeah. Gitano, you swear that fox is laughing at you. Gitano <laughs> is going to throw some magic missiles at the one that's crouching and bobbing and weaving. Uh, you're pretty certain it's it said something rude to you, Gans, right? Hmm. Uh, no, oh, uh, yeah, there's extra damage, but they're so they're so beat up that I forgot the magic on the weapon. But oh yeah, that's, okay. they're 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 not they're not all that tough. Uh, fifth level, okay. Okay, G Gitano destroys that last one with the magic missile. Well, way to go with our magic fox. <laughs> that's pretty neat. There, you can catch cast spells while you're in your little bastard form. He's <laughs> rubbing his ass on your saddle. <laughs> your oh, what, your makeshift it. saddle? <laughs> Druids are gross. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Alright, let me pick up I assume that the Acunians had Druids. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's 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 holes like Acunian legend is steeped with shapeshifters and basically all shapeshifters get classified as either like it is druid or it is like lichen and it's like the two classes of like are you a monster shapeshifter or are you a are you a druid <laughs> are you a people shapeshifter all right um you just you just lie around and lick your own balls don't you I've seen dogs do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not turning into a, a humanoid because yeah. he is not being left behind. <laughs> uh, uh, other, um, I'm going to roll a check. <laughs> uh, you can see some thrashing in the water. As bits of one of these, these this, this particular ghoul is being snipped up. Do we see what is snipping? Yep. You see a. Oh, give me a perception check to see how well you see it. Oh, I know we've been we've been having horror themes for a while, but we've had a six week break to recover from horror themes. Eighteen. <laughs> Eighteen. Uh, uh, a. 
some. Oh. Oh, he's got a plus 12 minus one for his head condition. Uh, he gets a 28. Okay, so Banta, Banta sees that a there's a couple of these little, very much smaller little beings are snipping and pulling and tearing it down.